Hey, yo, 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 everybody. Generic me here, and welcome to a hermit's look at Machiavellian. <laughs> so, uh, this game is not out yet. Comes out sometime in, uh, in this year, hopefully soon, because it is super fun. If you were a fan of RimWorld, or uh, Oxygen Not Included, or any of those type of like Prison Architect, those type of like uh, really hardcore resource management, like Dwarf Fortress type of stuff, uh, this game will be perfect for you. I've been following this game for a year or so now, saw it in Res last year in London, and uh, it is it is glorious. It's, right now it's only an alpha, I have a secret uh, copy of it, not a lot of people have. But, you know, because I'm cool. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into it, and I will show you the basics. I have been playing, um, I would say, a fair amount of it because I didn't want to be a complete idiot, you know, more than normal, like when I'm playing with you guys. So let's see. Uh, what's my name? What's my villain name? Jenny B will be my villain name on this one. Okay. Dearest Jenny B. Your petition for an evil domain has been approved by the Machiavellian League of Villains. You will be given three minions to start your domain. Don't lose them. Fair warning. The above-mentioned minions are brain dead. They will not do anything unless ordered to. You'll soon receive another letter with our code of dishonor if you manage to survive until then. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, this seems mighty uh, familiar, right? You start with your three minions. And hold on one second. <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cold, a little bit. It's just traveling so much it does it. Um, so each one of these type of villains that you start off with, you can get like a mummy or uh, a psychopath, uh, you know, or a zombie. And they eat different types of food. They have different traits to them. Very much like any of these other like RimWorld or Oxygen Not Included type of things. Um, and then like they're by default pretty good at some things. So like Shaniqua. Oh, and you can change these up. Um, I might give these a change for some of my, my patrons, Patreons, patrons on the Patreon, um, but for right now, let's just play it. Um, got our three-star cooking, I'm gonna hire that. Uh, oh, this one's really good at research and mailing stuff, I'm gonna hire you. Boom! And, let's see, what about a zombie? Uh, it's good at bringing resources to the storage. Oh my goodness, you're really, really good. Let's... Let's bring this man, and then maybe, yeah, yeah, no, that'd be good, that'd be good. So right now we can only get three, we validate it, boom. Okay, so, I am going to pause the game. Now here's my little people, I love the, the like the art and all that. It looks a little blurry because it's only when I pause it, see how they do that? It's so good, it's like pausing a VCR in a horror movie. So the object of the game, all right, is to build a haunted house and get it to where uh, you can invite victims into your house and kill them and eat them. And then there's this suspicion meter right over here that the more suspicious you get, um, sometimes you'll get like like the, the guys with the pitchforks and torches coming after you and stuff, right? All right, so first things first, they're gonna tell me about basic controls. I already know about it. I'm gonna explain it to you as I go. Uh huh. Let's archive, archive, and archive. All right, I'll tell you about it. So for right now, I'm gonna just tell this guy to go over here so we can see what kind of world we're in, right? And maybe find a little spot to call our own. Okay, I think this might be a pretty good spot to start building. Uh, so we need to gather some resources. We can chop wood, dig into the rock, and collect plants. I'm gonna chop the wood. Now this is, these are evil trees, and they can cause damage to you, um, but that's okay. We're fine for that right now. Um, and then we wanna do some digging into the rock. Here's some metal here. There's some gold, which will be very important in the future. And we'll just do that for right now, cause like we don't need we don't need a whole lot of uh, stone or metal at the beginning. We kind of need a lot of wood, so that'll work. And now you'll notice if I hit start, nobody actually does anything. That's because we have this job grid, and we've seen this job grid before. And so we can start telling people. Um, so Darwin's a good builder. Uh, both of these guys are good wood choppers, and since you look like you'd be kind of idle, let's go ahead and do that for right now, right? Boom! And now we hit it, 
and they go on their merry way. So, who who you is again? Shaniqua. Shaniqua is doing her her thing. Uh, whoop. And these guys are chopping trees. Oh, but you see, they took a little bit of damage, right? So evil trees are attacking. We can get a demonic axe using the research bench, which hopefully we'll get to today. Um, and then that will allow it to where we don't we don't get damage from those guys. They're a little nasty, a little bit on the nasty side. But I just want to clear these guys off so we can uh, so we can start doing some building. Hey, you need to leave them alone. Leave it alone. And of course, like most of these, yeah, build a room. We're gonna have to build a room. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and start planning that out. So under here, this is where you build your normal rooms. And then over all of this is like the types of things you can put into a room. So like, actually, I'm gonna, one second. All right, I'm going to hit there and say the room. And if I look, I'm gonna put a room like right here. And I'm gonna do like a, maybe a three by five. That seems pretty good for now. Yeah, let's do a three by five. Bonk. And then you have to put in your walls. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna do a little wall action and I'm actually gonna go something like that. Okay, we won't be able to get that one because there's a tree in the way. And we can't do that one yet. And a little something like that, all right. So we'll let them do their little chopping. Hey, you need to leave them alone. Leave them alone if you know what's good for you. Um, also, I'm gonna do, because this is where I'm gonna put some some doors. That's why I've got that like that. I think I can put now a wall right in here. Boom. Hey, leave them alone. Hey, stop it. Now this actually makes evil wood. So I can't, I can't really do any type of uh, building with the evil wood. I gotta use regular wood, I believe. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. So yeah, see now that um, now that they've chopped up the thing, now this guy who I've set to be a builder, he can actually take that wood. So we have one guy that's doing the chopping, one guy. Oh, there's a lot more. Let me let me say chop all that wood. That seems really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Liking it, liking it. And then I also sense them in the neighborhood. I might just kind of tear those up a little bit. All right, so. While they're building that, now you can see it says build a writing desk. Now a writing desk is what's used uh, that you can start building, uh, start sending out advertisements. So people will, uh, <coughs> people will, victims will come. So you write out these like advertisements saying like, you've won a set of silverware, right? And then these stupid people will come and they'll be like, I, uh, I'm here for my silverware, and then you're like, uh-huh, and that's when you that's when you kill them. Um, there's also some rules, which I'll show you here in just a minute. I'm gonna put one here, I'm gonna put one here, and then there's a special door, the pretty red door, irresistible effect on victims. So um, because we have some uh, evil wood, I can do that and I put that right there. You can only have one of those as you go. Okay, so we're gonna keep on trucking here. Boy, that guy tore up those. Okay, I'm gonna do some resources, chop a little bit more wood. Just cause we have a lot more back there. That's good, that's very good. They're gonna do some sleeping. Um, we are gonna also make an additional uh, room for these guys. So let me see what I can do here on that. Uh, I have on my iPad, I have a, a little thing I've been making. Uh, so, I, so I kinda have like a floor plan. I know, I'm a nerd, what can I say? Um, so I'm just gonna do something like, if I do that, a little four by four, that might work out for right now. Okay, now a merchant is on his way. And then every once in a while this guy will come and then he'll, uh, he'll sell some stuff as either food or it's like little trinkets. Sometimes there'll be a guy where you can buy more minions, like more hardcore minions, etc., etc. It's a little bit dark. We gotta wait for the sunlight to come up. But these guys are doing, wow, you are so good at this, dude. Um, all right, who you is? You're Pearl. Pearl is idle, so I'm gonna uh, go into the jobs and maybe I'll also set you up on that kind of course. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. And so now we can, if we go in here, we go to rooms, 
make us some more walls. I'm gonna go, just for right now, I'm gonna do something like that. That. Little business. Little bit of business right there. Boom. <clears throat> and then eventually I can like expand these, but you don't wanna build too big a rooms right now. Um, you kinda wanna keep it just enough where you can fit what you need into it. Uh, because otherwise you'll spend too much time like building these giant rooms and not enough time, you know, putting in things that you need to put. Like for example, uh, I'm supposed to be building a writing desk. So we go to home office, here's the writing desk. We can stick that bad boy boom, right here. And then in addition, <clears throat> we've been mining up some of this metal and stuff. We can do in these rooms, you can do stuff like candles. And so the candles will bring more light and it brings more prestige to the room, which helps with people uh, when they come to visit you, these victims. Uh, you don't want them to be all super scurred. And so it's kind of nice to put, uh, it's kind of nice to put a, a light in the room and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more coffin one sec. <coughs> oh, me oh my, me oh my, all right. It is dark, dark as hell, but that's okay. Now, there's one thing also you can do, as you can see, as they're doing their little thing, I can select somebody. So I can like pick my man here, and I can right click on this and say build this first. And then that way he'll go get his stuff that he needs to get, and then he'll he'll work on building that first. So it's a little way that you can you can prioritize things. It's not quite as good as like oxygen not included where you have that prioritize priority like setting and you can just like say all of this is priority. I really wish it wish they did have that, but that's okay. So uh merchants on his way, he's still coming. Select an ad campaign. So this is where you you do something to lure them into the mansion. So if we go into the ad campaign, and then so uh like this one it takes ten letters to invite victims. And then like the more better you got, you know the uh you know, the more letters it takes. But uh, this one says, like, you've won a set of 24 karat gold-plated serving dishes, right? Um, so we'll select that one, which means now the mail service comes every, you know, every day, uh, and we need to have 10 letters by the time the mail person comes. So what we can do here is under jabs, we can say for the home office, we can select these two brohams, to make of the letters, and I'm actually gonna put, I may put Shaniqua on building, and this, and uh, Pearl off of building. So if there's no wood to chop, then she's on home office duty. That seems pretty good to me. Um, and in the meantime, so we'll let that kind of run its course. Uh, and then in the meantime, we need to build a bedroom so we're gonna have minion beds and I'll eventually have five minions so we'll work it out uh, let's see how's this work yeah middle middle button so we got one a two a three a four and I'll do four for right now that's good and so they're gonna keep on going okay merchant is on the road he has arrived and there he is beep beep so then you can click on it and you can see like all the stuff that uh, that you can buy. So in the event, like if you're low on metal, you can buy one for that. They have some pretty cool stuff. Um, I don't know why you would need a circuit board, maybe for some like higher tier crafting, but then you have stuff like this. Um, and, in, and these are the things that you can put on your, um, on your bad guys, on your minions to allow them to do like mo better stuff. So I'm thinking like, um, the baboon monkey. I'm not sure. I can never get him to actually pick it up, but we're going to try it. We're going to buy that guy. And then close. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, get out of my way. So there's the baboon monkey, right? So if we pick, like, Shaniqua, and then we right-click, and we can say, equip this. And did you equip it? Oh, it's so equipped now. So, yeah, 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 look, the baboon monkey. Cool, so now... Shaniqua will have a faster walking speed than everybody else. Woohoo! Sorry, it's really dark. Holy poop, it's dark. Um, maybe we go to our boy Darwin and we tell him to build this just so we get a little light going on. 
because that is crazy the amount of uh, non-light we got going on here. And I need to put a door right there. And then uh, we'll need to put, let me open up my thing one more time. Um, I'm gonna put a, another room. And then I'm gonna say, like I wanna have, this will be a, a place, this will be a wall, and then right there is how I wanna do it. So we're gonna have this be four, let's just do it four by five for right now. Is that gonna be good enough? Yeah, I feel like that'll be fine. And then we can build ourselves. Uh, we got the door already. Oops, hold on. One more floor, we'll put it right there. I don't know necessarily if you need the, uh, need the floor under the door, but it looks nice. So it is what it is. All right. And then we'll do a little business like that. Okay. So now these guys are doing their thing. Uh, someone is supposed to be on this. Let's see who's, whose job was it? Pearl is idle. Okay, Pearl, where are you is, babe girl? Why are you idle? Oh, I know why. Hey, because not only do you have to set up the, uh, the ad campaign, you actually have to start writing letters. I forgot about that. So you click on the letter, that's what I wanna write. And then you can say, maintain 10 in the stockpile. And you can do like that. And so you have a, a choice of just making some, making keeping a certain amount in the stockpile or producing indefinitely. Um, I don't wanna tie her up, you know, after 10, so let's just do that. And so we're good there. Now she should run right into it. Yeah, no longer, no longer idle. She's grabbing the materials that she needs to go into there. So life is good. Uh, life uh, uh, has found a way. All right, let's speed this thing up a little bit more. Especially so we can get into some daytime. Maybe kind of nice. So craft a letter. We merchant on the road. We know all about it. And a merchant. Another merchant is on his way. Okay. So see, it's kind of cool. Like, and we haven't even got to the part yet. Aha, oh, now he's building some beds. So this will make people a lot happier. Because now they're, they'll sit there and they'll say, Okay, we're all good. Oh, they fell asleep. <laughs> now they'll be like, I'm tired. But I'll be able to sleep in this place. It'll make me a lot happier. Because when you click on somebody, they have, like, loyalty. You know, and then you'd see, like, if it's, like, really low, uh, they'll leave the mansion for good. They could start causing damage to the mount, uh, to the whatever. And it's based on stuff like, you know, they're hungry. You know, like, right now they seem to be fine. Average evilness is not so great. So they want some more evil in their in their house, which is kind of cool. And we could do something like that if we sat there and we said, uh, let's see, any room? So these are kind of like the, uh, some of the stuff. So evilness, there's a plus 20 evil. If we had bones, we could make a skull head candle. Oh, we could make this, but it takes 100 stone. I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. That seems like a little bit, uh, a little bit advanced for us, you know, so we'll, we'll wait on that. Um, but this one, uh, hello? Oh, I'm on, fingers on the wrong keys. We've all been there before. Um, so what I wanna do with this one is start to make a kitchen. Cause we need to start uh, being able to process the food, right? So the first thing I wanna do is there's a food storage. So I'll put a food storage, right? Chomp, seems pretty good. Um, and then we can go into the kitchen and there's a butcher's table and so we can take the butcher's table and You know, I might put it like that And then that way we'll have room if we in the eventual uh, Progress of this if you guys want to see more is that we'll be able to put like uh, we'll research like uh, smokers so it'll keep our meat lasting longer because meat does eventually uh, go bad, which is kind of nifty how that works. Um, okay, so let's speed this sucker up. Did we have a daytime yet? It feels like it's been nothing but night the entire time we've been playing. See, and then you can see here, there's uh, there's the letters. Oh, okay, and we got a brain truck. 
Oh wait, so we we do have some money. Let's let's look really quick here. I just want to see. Uh, we have 72 brains, smoked meat. Hmm. Yeah. Let's let's maybe get a little bit more. 20 more brains, and this is the smoked meat, right? Just because we're starting out. You know what I'm saying? Seems to be worthwhile. Okay. And we're done. Go about your merry way. Okay. And then while this thing is going, she's she's raiding more stuff. And I can start to look at this and be like, hmm, okay, I think we could start planning out one more one more spot. So if I do something like this. Doesn't that sound just like uh don't starve? Dee 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 dee. Okay, we do need to. Oh, what was that? You got promoted to rank one. Okay, hold up. Let's check that out. I'm gonna get rid of these so we can like walk around. Actually, I don't need to get rid of that. Cancel a resource. How we do that? Cancel a job. Okay. Let's look at right here. Okay, so we've been promoted by the League of Villains because we've done some things. We've built two closed rooms, and we survived three days. So that's unlocked a slot uh -huh, uh, for a new minion. Ooh, and minions have heard about your promotion and want to join you. That's when we start getting, like, the minion trucks coming in, which I think is pretty neat. Okay, so we have a choice. We have Carolyn, who is a skeleton. Mm-hmm. Um, and is good at cleaning blood, which is potentially, like, really good. We kind of need one of those people in our life. Um, uh, Marth, which is a good, uh, wood chopper and such. That's not a bad one. And <clears throat> we've got this one who's really good at those two. Um, you know, I'm going to go for Carolyn just because I haven't seen one with a worm sticking out of her eyeballs yet. <laughs> okay, where's Carolyn? And did they give us bones? They gave us some, some bones to start. Thank goodness, because I didn't have any bones. Okay, how many of these letters do we have right now? We have... I don't know. How many do we have? Seven. Okay, so three more, and then they'll... Uh, oh, rise to the top. Yeah, so we climb up the League of Villains, and then you get more rewards for doing mobile things. Plus, there's this really cool like uh, startup guide. It shows you like if you don't know how to play... It's really well done. Isn't it so cool? I mean, it's really, really well done. It shows you all that stuff. All right, let's speed on up. <clears throat> and it looks to me like I might, I might get, like, let me, let me look at my floor plan here. Oh, Merchant's on his way. Yep, got it. Um, I might put a couple more of these. I guess I'll let them go fast. Might as well let them go fast. Uh, let's put another candle in here. So they don't get terribly scared of things. And then by the time they get here, I don't care. I'm going to, like, kill them really fast. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and then over here might be kind of a nice... Uh, a nice one, but I'll also need to give myself... Oh! Oh, the mail's come! He had enough letters. Mail has been delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, so that means that we'll get some victims here pretty soon, and I'll show you how the how the victims work. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Um, in the meantime, also, now that we have a kitchen, I'm going to set up these two brohams as kitchen people, and you'll notice they have like only certain amounts of Oh, we have two people idle, by the way. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Yep, yeah, uh, because you can set some people to be like, uh, you know, here's some maintenance, and then they have one one job left, so you're, you'd be like, you're in charge of uh, extinguishing fires, you know, let's say, or whatever, but otherwise I'll put you on a build. And sometimes this works good, and sometimes not so much, like if you really want someone to be that home office person, but you're chopping wood, it's like, there's no way to set like a priority. Like, 
if you want chopping wood, like let this person chop wood only if there's no one else that will chop the wood. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't make a whole a whole lot of sense to me. Um, I'm also gonna do up here. This will be our laboratory. So we'll stick a dude right here, which is our kind of like one of our uh, research stations. And I'm gonna put a just a material thing right there. Oh, but we don't have enough wood, or do we? No, we don't have enough wood. Okay, we're gonna have to chop some more wood. So chop the trees. Boom. That's gonna do some work. Okay, let's let these guys do their thing. Ladies and gentlemen, merchant is on the road. I repeat, the merchant is on the road. Where'd that guy go? <laughs> that guy was like, I'm out of here, bro. No, for real, where'd that person go? Okay, oh yeah, yeah, so this is the merchant. So you can get like some more hardcore ones, but they cost a lot of money. So if you like got really good. Oh, dude, that's the guy from Gremlins. Is that my, uh, Gizmo? That's so funny. Um, yeah, so you can get Dr. Frankenstein. Look how cool that is, man. A tire with psychic powers. What? And then Psychopath and, and that type of stuff. But they're like a little bit more better than the rest of them, right? Because they have like higher skills, bigger life, whatever the case may be. Um, so that's like something you can fire people and, and bring more people in. Uh, okay, you coming? Get that done. And then you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and say under resources, let's dig that. And let's dig those. Oh, victims are coming soon. Okay, so this is this is where it gets good, right? So our job is to uh, is to get all the people. Like, let me look. Let me find rules. Okay, so this is more advanced. You get like bonus if you if you do these, right? So you have to kill them all. Uh, you can only kill them when they're alone. So it's not like an absolute, but there's ways to do that with stuff like these traps so you can um you can have like rotating walls so people will come and look at that picture and the wall will rotate and that's what i'm going to do with some of these like instead of having a door here i'll have a rotating wall um so then it'll get them in their own place and then you can you can kind of kill them one-on-one -on -one. but there's like conveyor belts and spike floors and all sorts of stuff um but then uh so you can only kill them alone unless they're having sex then you can go ahead and slaughter both of them uh, you have to kill the virgin last. You can only <clears throat> massacre at night. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that, that type of stuff. So the way you do this is you go and you say, stop all minion activities and enter attack mode. Okay? So then at that point, you have, you have to take these guys and you put them wherever you want them. Now, that would be, you know, stuff like, I want someone in this room because someone's going to go into the revolving door and yada, yada, yada. But for right now, because it's just uh, just a really simple place like this, we're going to have them all go right into this one spot. So, and you're just going to be like, go to right here. Okay. So now they're going to be waiting. We've done a pretty good job for the first day. Um, and then we're going to speed it up a little bit. Victims are coming. Yes. Okay. So it says, kill those victims. Right. Now... The the actual um, the actual fighting in this game I don't fully understand because for each one of these guys they can level up and they have these type of attacks so I can say like go to or you know attack or there's like these other types oh they're here okay so I haven't quite figured it out but I know enough that I can like cause damage so right now these four people come in right. And, and like, look, it shows you what food they produce. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And as the as the the difficulty goes up, these guys get a little bit tougher. But right now, they're gonna go check out the home office. They're like, um, I was told that there would be some uh, gold plated uh, dishes. Oh uh, well, let's check out this place. Okay, well, that's all right, I guess. Bedroom. Mhm. Mm well, there's some yeah, there's some beds here, I guess. Well, hello. I've been told. Hello? Well, what's behind this door? Ah! 
they saw a minion, so they get scared. They get scared with a bunch of stuff. If it's too dark, or if they see stuff like half finished, like so this stuff up here, if they saw that, they would get scared about it. Any type of like traps they get scared about. So now all I know to do is you can sit there and say attack, and I actually just manually go to it. I don't know what else you do, but does it this is this is how I do it. And then attack. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Is that their iPhones? <laughs> so see, it's like rule number one, kill them all. And we're killing them. And, come on, keep killing. Ah. Get this woman. Get this woman. She's frozen. She's frozen in fear. Now, I could go ah. more advanced and I could, like, after one's dead, move the guy that was attacking over on the other ones and whatever. But, now check this business out. That's... That's food. Victim head rots in 14 hours, right? So now you have to go back to the jobs and you have to say resume all jobs. So here's what we got. We have a couple chefs that that's their jobs to be preparing. We have this person whose job is to be some maintenance and maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe that's good for right now. One person on maintenance. Uh, let me close that out so you can see what happens. Okay, oh, there's gonna be, oh wait, 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 I don't want you mining. Anybody gonna do anything with those? No, hold on. See, this is where it gets a little, like, I want, I want this person who's working in the kitchen, I don't want them to be doing any of that. So like, for right now, I guess, let's go bonk and a bonk. And this person, I don't want you to do that. Like, I can't, it says, limit to use the arrow. To, oh, to change below the job icon. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so maybe... Arrow below? Oh! Oh! Oh, is that how that works? Okay. Oh, yeah. So I didn't realize that that works pretty good. Let's do that. I want them to always cook first. And I would want them to research first is very important to me and if there's any blood on the floor I would rather they bloody get clean that up okay let's try that out now oh that's so good so good to know and I'll do I'll put those back because that was important and then the dig into the rock is important as well okay let's try it and go back so now these people will go in We've got a person cleaning the blood because you, you want to get rid of the blood. That gets people like really scared and suspicious and all that stuff. And in the meantime, look at this Chef Boyardee. He's taking the heads, he's putting them on the, on the chopping block, and he's turning them into delicious food. So we're getting tons of food out of, off of this. Now the food will rot over time, and that is why we need to get this thing working. Uh, so we can start here. Let me let me do a speed up job so you can fix that really quick and Okay, so This is where you can take it and you can do research points and then under research You can learn stuff like the demonic axe preserve your food with the smoker um, Fire hydrant which separates the dog which is a bad one printing press for more advanced type of things etc etc So like oh you make more better decorations and floors and all of that stuff so yeah, how about it, huh? So that is it for uh, Machia Villain. Hope you guys enjoy. If you wanna see more, uh, drop a like on the video and let me know. I, I really feel like I could play a few more at least so we could like try to play, play around with the traps and stuff. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But that is doing it for me, boys and girls. Until next time, take care, brush your hair. I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Oh, <laughs>